Now to another missing case that has a lot of people talking on social media. An urgent search for a missing three-year-old boy and 16-year-old girl and the family relative accused of taking them. Police say the children were kidnapped in Kentucky and they could be on the way to Michigan right now. Investigators believe three-year-old Noah's father has them. He has been wanted by police for custodial interference. News Nation correspondent Felicia Bolton has the very latest on this manhunt and the search for Noah and also Amber. Felicia? Well, Marnie, right now authorities don't know where either of them are. They are still searching for that missing 16-year-old and her three-year-old cousin. Police say they need the public's help to help track them down and bring them home safely. Their abductions crossed state lines. Three-year-old Noah Claire kidnapped in Tennessee. Just bring, bring my kid home, please. Bring him home. I miss him. And Noah, mommy loves you so much. 16-year-old Amber Claire abducted in Kentucky. Police say they could be on the way to Michigan with this man. He is a dangerous man, and uh, his mental state right now is not a place where you need to have children. According to Michigan State Police, 32-year-old Jacob Clare kidnapped the children and may be headed to the Harbor Spring area in northern Michigan. He is the father of Noah and the uncle of Amber. The pair were reported missing on November 7th. He picked up Amber sometime Friday night in the middle of the night. We had a temporary custody um, plan in place. It was, um, he got Noah every other weekend, Friday at 6 to Sunday at 6 p.m. It was his scheduled time to have Noah, and then he just never brought Noah home on Sunday. Now authorities need help tracking him down. Jacob Claire is about 6'8 and 180 pounds with short brown hair and blue eyes. He has tattoos along his left arm and shoulder. He is likely wearing a black watch. They were last seen in a silver 2005 Subaru Legacy with Tennessee license plates 42MY10. The vehicle has a dent in the rear driver's side bumper and several stickers on the back. The family believes Jacob could have tricked Amber into going with him. Amber, if you're watching this, you're the key to all this, okay? Whether it's telling somebody uh, at a gas station that you need help. Amber Claire is 5'7 and about 140 pounds with dirty blonde hair and green eyes. Noah Claire is 3'4 and 40 pounds with curly light brown hair and blue eyes. He was last seen wearing gray sweatpants with a camo shirt. Anyone with information about this should contact Gaylord Area Regional Dispatch at 989-732-5141 or just call 911. This family is desperate for answers tonight, Marnie. Two children. All right, Felicia, thank you. Jamie Bravada is Amber's mother, and she is joining us live tonight alongside her partner, R.C. Miller. He is with her for support, and uh, any mom would need it right now. We appreciate your time, Jamie. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, first of all, I'm kind of reading through all of the details of Amber and Noah's disappearance. Um, initially, Amber was considered a runaway. What is the relationship that she has with Jacob, and when was the last time you saw her? Um, the last time we seen her was Friday night on the, was it the 5th? Was yes. it Friday? Okay, the 5th, um, about 9.30. Um, the relationship that I believe that they had went further than um, an uncle and his niece. Um, <sighs> what leads you to believe that? Um, the, the gut feelings I had as a mom, um, the feelings that her, um, we don't like the term stepfather. Um, I consider myself their father. We intercepted, uh, some text messages just shortly before, uh, we asked him to move out of the house. And, uh, although there was nothing really. Uh, it was just seemed highly inappropriate to us. Um, something that uh, an uncle should not be saying to his minor niece. Um, so although there, there was nothing there that we could legally do anything about, it was just absolutely inappropriate. Do you believe that Amber went with Jacob willingly? We, we hope that that's the case. We have no other reason to believe that, uh, that she did not. I guess just for our own mindset 
and and and, and we we believe that she did. I believe that he, um, with the coercion and the the priming of which I believe he has done, that is the only reason she would have left. Um, she was way too close to her family. Um, here, um, my brother's kids in Texas, um, my cousin in Michigan. She wouldn't just up and and leave us all like that. That's not her. Jamie, I know she loved her family. I have a letter here that she left for her sister. Uh, I know you, you both have seen this as well. And she wrote to her sister, I am safe. This was meant to happen for a reason. I have to go on an adventure and have time to myself. Uh, she also said, I'm making myself happy because not enough happiness was provided in that house. What more can you tell me about Amber's state of mind? Um, anything that she had shared with you before writing this letter and, and disappearing? <clears throat> um, Amber, Jake made it seem like unless he was around, she was not happy. Um, before him, she used to be happy all the time. Then he came around and worked his sick, twisted stuff. And then when he was gone, she went into her room all the time um, and wasn't very happy anymore. So I believe with what he has done with her, she felt that was her only way um, maybe to be happy. Uh, I, I don't really know. Right. Um, well, at this point, Amber is missing. Noah, her three-year-old cousin, is also missing. And as we saw in, in that story a moment ago, many in your family are concerned about Jake's mental state. Uh, if you could speak to Amber tonight to give her a message, or to Jake, for that matter, <clears throat> uh, what would you say to them right now? Um, to Amber, I would tell her, please come home. She doesn't know and realize the love that she has here at home, um, that she wouldn't be in trouble. Just bring her and her cousin home. Um, if, if Jake heard me, I would tell him to think about how he felt when he couldn't see Noah very much and how he would never want that for anybody and just bring my babies home and get Noah home to his mom. We pray for their safe return and for your family tonight. I know it is so difficult for you both going through this. We thank you for coming on and talking to us and getting the word out. Thank you for having us. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.